Hi, this is William Lamb, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer at VMware. We're first going to configure a vCenter server. There are two things we need to configure. We need to first make sure that we're sending our SNMP traps to our vCO server. Click on Administration, vCenter Server Settings, SNMP, and specify the host name or IP address of your vCO server, as well as the port number you're sending the traps. In this example, I will be specifying port 4000. Next, we're going to create the vCenter alarm. We'll call this secure VM. It will monitor for a specific event. Then click onto the triggers. And we'll create an event based on the VM created event. And go ahead and set the status to unset. This will ensure that we will not have a red icon on the VMs when the trigger is executed. Click over to Actions and we'll create a new action. Here we're going to be sending an SNMP trap. And then click OK to finish. We can confirm that our alarm has not been created. Next we are going to configure our VCO server. Make sure you have the SNMP plugin installed for your VCO server. To verify this, go to the inventory and ensure that you see the SNMP plugin. Now we're going to register our vCenter server with the VCO server. Go ahead and click on Workflows and expand the library and go to SNMP Device Management. We're going to run the workflow called Register an SNMP Device. You'll specify the host name of your vCenter server and go ahead and click on Advance you can specify additional information. Here we're going to specify the port to be 4000 to match the configurations of our vCenter server. Go ahead and click Submit. To confirm the SMP device has been registered, go back to your inventory and confirm that you see your vCenter server. Now we're going to import the package that you have downloaded from the website. Select the vCO package and click Open. Go ahead and accept the certificate. Here we can see the contents of the package. A secure VM workflow which takes a virtual machine as the input and will be applying advanced settings to a virtual machine. There is a text file which is a resource element that contains the advanced settings to be applied to a virtual machine. And finally there is a SNMP trap policy that is included which will be triggered when an SNMP trap is sent to the VCO server. Go ahead and click on import. Here we can see the package has been imported. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three components again. If we click to workflows, go ahead and expand the vCenter custom directory and we'll see that our workflow secure VM is located here. If we click to the resources and expand that out, we'll see that our text file is included here which contains the advanced settings to be applied to the virtual machine. Finally, go ahead and click on policy templates. Here we can see our secure VM SNMP trap policy. Go, to enable this, go ahead and right click and a pipe policy. Here you give the policy name. We'll go ahead and name it the same name as our vCenter server. And we'll specify the SNMP device. This will be your vCenter server. Go to your SNMP plugin and navigate to your vCenter server. Click select. And then go ahead and click submit. To enable this policy, we just need to right click and start the policy. If you have other vCenter servers, you can create additional policies. If we go back to our vCenter server, let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. As you can see, after the virtual machine has been created, an SNMP trap has been sent over to the VCO server to apply the secure VM policy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the VM to ensure that the policy has been applied appropriately. And here we can see some of the advanced settings that we wanted to apply to our virtual machine upon creation.